Brother Jim, what are we doing here? Uh, we're checking the television transmitter, looking to see uh, what's causing uh, high voltage arcing. So we're putting 32,000 volts on the input cavity over there right now. Okay, so what is the, uh, what's it look like happening to our transmitter? Uh, there's a, it's a short somewhere, either inside the tube or outside the tube. Okay, there's our tube. It's kind of stripped down right now. Yeah, it has that on top of it, that's part of it, but it's, that's the input cavity. Here's the center of the tube. And those black spots shouldn't be there, that means it got kind of hot, but... Uh, and of course the other part of the tube is down here. So the water goes in. There's a magnet system going around the outside of it. How much do those things sell for, Brother Jim? Around thirty-five thousand. <laughs> you said that kind of easy. You must have faith. Yeah, we're checking. We'll find out in a minute what it is. Then we'll know better. I'm shutting it off now. Okay. So folks, what we don't want to see is a reading on this on this deal. So we don't want to see that, do we? Okay, brother Jim. Yeah. What do we find out here now? Well, we're getting an arc from this plate. To one of our input lines, okay. and uh, it shouldn't be doing that. So we're thinking that we may have a bad tube. Uh, that it may, have, it may, it may be this crack. We found a little hairline crack down there. Say gold on that. They mean it, don't they? Yeah. This tube is about three inches longer than, uh, than the other, so we're making these spacers in here so we can pick them in there. Well, Jim. Carl. How's it going in here? Good. We're getting the water pipes hooked up. Just checking okay, it. Okay, I see that. So it's water cooled, right? Yeah, our new uh, car therm glycol. Here, oh, yeah, uh, here, it, please. Here's the. Uh, the other pipes. Okay. And now we take this off to get a look at the ceramic. This pole. There, there you go. There. Now we look for any cracks. No, I see some dots on there. Well, Jim. Yeah. So you got the the uh, apparatus in this room now. Yeah, we're getting ready to put the cavities on. Okay, got the book there that tells us how to do it. Yeah. And here's the cavity, one down on the floor, right? Right. Here's all okay, the... It's all the, silver. Here's the tube. Okay. And then it has a nice picture of, uh, let's see, all the parts that are involved right there. Alrighty. We just clean up these little fingers right here. See those fingers? How they shine? Well, that's a good deal there. You get your half on and I'll get my half on. <laughs> right there, right? Nope, gotta go up right there. No. Yes, sir, right there. There we there go. go. Now if you hold it, if I mess up. Looking good. Okay, it's in. Push it I guess it's much. I'll hold it a mile away and we'll just we'll set her up there. Goes inside that little hole there.
ready to put the input cavity on over there. Okay. We'll be hoisting that up. And we have to put this adapter plate on because uh, we're upgrading this old assembly right. for the new tube. So we've got to adapt it. This is your new air assembly on here. Yeah, it's hoisted up. Yeah. It's a bit higher. That's good. Okay, we gotta make sure that this don't hang up on these fingers, see those fingers in there. Okay, I'll turn this thing off here. Well, Jim, what is that thing? This is the output. The energy the gets output. coupled here through this J-hook and then goes up. This goes up to the antenna through all of our filters okay. and transmission line. Yeah. 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 You got some soldering to do, huh? Yeah. Gonna loosen this up. Alright. Okay, well we've got some equipment here to spectrum analyzer, sideband adapter to tune the thing, the uh, tube when we get it done. Hey Jim. Hey. You're right in the middle of it here. Yep. Well, it's been used anyhow, hadn't it? Yeah. You're marking all your wires. Yep. How come you do that, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> I found out, haven't I? I found out. Okay. Now go real, real slow, and if you catch up anywhere, I'll try to holler at you. All right, you gotta go to your right. Back up to your right. Just back it out. There you go. Now watch. Now get water on the other side. I'm ready to do it. Hey. Alright, it's in the slot here. Work is being quickly done. Hey Jim. Yeah. I see you got the old one out. Yeah, got the new one going in. Hey, look at that. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We've got the tube in there. It's about 10.30. Uh, back here. We've got the Thyrotron tube installed also. Brother Jim, it's after midnight. What's happening? We're uh, looking at the, the umbilical cord that connects the tube over here to, okay. to the backboard because we changed that cable out and we just changed it out again. Yeah. So we want to make sure that all the connections are correct. We changed it out twice, you know, okay. since we've been on the air, so. So this big book here that's got a hundred pages, it's... Yeah, I finally that's... found the right page, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Brother Jim, where are we at now? We're warming the tube up. Okay. Brother Jim, what are you doing here? We're trying to calibrate uh, one of the uh, protectors protective circuits on the transmitter so we got to generate a current here to test it out. We're trying to get the new tube up to power. Uh -huh. There we go again. Crowbar. Yep. Try again. Good light there. Oh, it's up. Hey, good. Whoops. Oops. Like that, did it? Try again. <laughs> 